sometimes you're going to be dealing with paragraphs that look like this in your documents. To make them stand out, you're going to have to learn how to use the tabs and the indents in Google Docs. Do we have these features in Google Docs? Absolutely, we do have them. So for instance, if I want to indent this line here, uh, the normal way is you can just use the tab on the keyboard, you just place on it once, then it's going to indent this paragraph just like that. And this makes your paragraph stand out. Also, that's what you can do for this one. Also, you can just come here and do that. That works. But also there are other ways to go about this. We have these blue markers on top. These blue markers are indent options. They are also there in Microsoft Word, but they don't look like this. And so this is how they look like in, micro, in Google Docs. So for you to be able to indent the paragraph that you want to indent, you just have to bring the case up before that paragraph like that. Then you can just click on this and move it in like that. Then the entire paragraph is going to be moved. If you want to indent the entire paragraph, you move everything like that. In the case that you just want to move the first line, you click on the top part. And so it's called the first line indent. When you click and drag and push this in, it's only going to push the first line. Now, to, to move everything at once, you have, maybe you want to indent all these three paragraphs at once. You can highlight them. And now you can just click on the left indent here and everything's going to be moved like that. And so you have that. But sometimes you want to move only the first line for these three paragraphs and that's doable also. You can just click on this top part and push it in. And so you have all the three first lines for these paragraphs are moved in, indented in, just like that. Here you have all the control to move all these paragraphs actually however you want them to look like. You can move the first lines only like that or you can move everything together at once by just clicking the bottom part of this or you can just move one these one by one like that now sometimes you're going to be dealing with the very complex structures of data that you are working on in your document for instance when we insert this here it's bold and let's make it a bit big so we can see it properly we also want to have something somewhere here in the same line now sometimes people can use the space but this is not professional you don't want to use the spaces to move your cursor in the same line so you can insert the second position or sometimes people will just use this tab key press on it then it's going to move this this works very well but you don't have too much control of this either so you can just click anywhere here on the ruler then you're going to see the options for instance to add a tab stop so you can add a left tab stop or a center tab stop and the right tab stop if there's something you are interested in when you click on the add left tab stop here it's going to add a small marker there now this is actually telling the software that every time someone presses the enter when this is active instead of it jumping one inch forward it should jump to the position where we have this so now when we press the tab key on the keyboard it's going to jump to that position and now at this position we want to enter our expenditure this line is done we can press enter to start a new line then here we can put our incomes. Let's just make sure that the text is not going to be bold this time around. Here we're going to say gifts, for instance, gifts, yeah. Then we also want to put another tab stop here where we can put the price. So for me to do that, I'll just click here and I'll add the tab stop, the left tab stop. Then I can jump from where the cursor is to this position by just placing the tab key. And here now I can put the price. The income for this now i can also jump from where the cursor is to this position because it's already there i can just press the tab key it's going to do the magic and jump to that position and so here now i can put our expenditure maybe we can say subscriptions and these subscriptions we're going to put the money for these subscriptions somewhere here and so i can just click there to add the left tab and then when i jump to that position using the left using the tab key it's going to bring the case out there and I can put my price here. Now, when I add this publicity here, I can just press tab. It's going to go to this position because it knows I already have this tab stop here and I can add the price for this publicity just like that. And I can also press the tab key. It's going to do this magic. I don't have to do this again because now it knows what 
needs to be done. And just keep on doing this magic, magic, and we have this structure which is under our control, which is under your control. When you do this, now you can highlight this and remove the spacings. Remove the space after the paragraph so these come together and close to each other like that. And you can also say it should be single. So also this line, it should be, you can apply different formats to it. Like that, if that's something you are interested in. I don't want this. I'll remove the underline from here. And you have this structure. That's how you can use the tabs and the indents in Google Doc. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.